in this little corner here we are going to build a little work from home office but it's going to be a little bit different i'll let you in on a secret Yo, good morning, it's Saturday, 8 a.m., 5th of March, and we are doing some work outside on the section nobody wanted. Hey, I'm Josh, a builder here in New Zealand. If you haven't already, go ahead, click subscribe, let's go. In this little corner here, we are going to build a little work from home office, but it's gonna be a little bit different. I'll let you in on a secret. I'm a little bit of a materials hoarder. I have got stacks of materials everywhere. Stuff that's a little bit too good to chuck out, but as we've finished with it on that job, we can't send it back to the supplier. What we're gonna do is the start of a new project where we try to build a work from home office, reusing as many of the leftover building materials that I've got lying around as possible. Let's get into it. We're also doing some work up here on the driveway, finally repairing the huge amount of potholes and damage up along the curve. Come up with a bit of a permanent solution, especially where we're driving over, we're gonna dig out 200 mils, replace it with 100 mils of base course, 100 mils of concrete, shape that nicely, kind of to form a curb and channel on the edge, direct all the water down. This used to be just a big pile of grass and the water would run over it. As we've built things up, you're creating hard edges that the water hits. As it concentrates in those areas, it starts to gouge out. Yo, it's lunchtime, just finished Smoko. So this morning we got this floor squared. It was a little bit hard because of the angles of the retaining wall and the shed. Just kind of spent some time working out how it was gonna sit. So what we started doing is we built a box of the four perimeters and then using Pythagoras 345 and also using the diagonal lines, we managed to work out exactly where we wanted to sit, made sure it was square, bang on, and now we're finishing off laying out all the joists. So by the end of the day, that will be ready for flooring sheets. Remembering it's just a shed, we've done the floor reasonably close to the ground, but we have got a gap in there and we've run polythene under it just to kind of prevent any moisture coming up. Whoop, it's hot one. It is flipping hot. Big pour today, big, big strip of concrete. <laughs> I'll show you. We've formed this edge, we're gonna form that. It's kind of like a curving channel. We can put 100 mils of compacted base cores, put 100 mils of concrete, put steel in it. It is probably overkill, but I know that it's going to go the distance. Um, but yeah, I'm on the mixer. First time I've tried out this, oxide powder. And so I've got my 10 litre bucket two litre bucket and I'm just making sure that every mix is exactly the same. As we patch the rest of the tar seal or asphalt, we will get closer and closer to a finished product. I'll continue mixing concrete. Concrete pour's finished and you know what that means, time for smoko. Is it smoko yet? So I'm off to get a coffee, I'm gonna head up to the Akatero side. Uh, driveway's been prepped up and that gets poured this Friday, going all the way around here to the front door. We've got Katie and Bex in there doing final clean. This is how the houses get cleaned. At the same time we walk through and check out any defects, put a bunch of yellow dots, get all our tradies back, do our last minute things. And then over here we've got Tim and Caleb and they are doing the decking. Let's go and check both of those jobs out, but first, coffee. Yeah, 
we put yellow dots wherever there's something that we want the subbies to come back and fix or touch up in this main bathroom here just waiting on shower glass and then that's good to go just got to clean the windows then we go around we check every light switch we check every door we check all the plumbing make sure it's all working little things like this here just things inevitably get dinged and damaged in the process of finishing that new home and we want to hand it over mint, make sure everything's good to go. Let's head over here and check on the boys. Hey man. I'm in the lounge, kitchen, dining area, kitchen over there, media room down there, nice massive cathedral ceiling, plaster on the walls and architraves have gone in. Down on the ground we've polished the concrete and we've put flooring protection over that. So painter's coming in next week, he's going to have run of the place for a week and a bit and then we go laminate flooring, we put the kitchen in, plumber, sparky and we're on the home stretch. Outside the guys have been getting the decking down, we've got a big massive deck under a cover here and it is going to be a primo spot, look at all of that outlook there, look at all of that sun, 